Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an important question for developers working with Docker and React projects. Our viewer wants to know, in which branch should I build a Docker image? This question arises from a React project based on the React static boilerplate and follows the Git DMZ flow. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the Git DMZ flow and its relation to building Docker images. In this flow, the build process typically refers to the command used to compile your application, which in this case is the yarn build command. Next, we need to consider where to trigger the Docker build. Since the master and hotfix branches are deployed in production and the release branch is used for manual testing, it is logical to trigger the Docker build in the release branch. To summarize, you should build your Docker image in the release branch after running yarn build. This ensures that your Docker image is based on the latest tested code before deployment. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When deciding which branch to build a Docker image, consider your trade-offs. Ideally, automate Docker builds for every branch for testing. If that's too slow, start with a base image. It's okay to skip Docker, and build directly on the master branch, but this increases your responsibility for that build. Docker helps manage system configurations, but you can optimize by using a good base image and building for every branch. Docker's caching can save time even with complex setups. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.